Yeah, it'll take us down into the forest. There's a bridge it goes under, on the orange road. Once we're past that, we should be safe. You got that right. Over that way, to the right. Keep going until I say. Hey, Sorella, how's your mom? Oh, she's cool. She wasn't too happy about moving to Paul Creek, so... Yeah, but it was for the best, right? My dad, he opened a school there for all the kids. I made lots of friends. It was a happy time for me. Hey, that sounds great. Don't get me wrong, I still love it in the mountains. It's all I ever knew. Angie, my mom, still prefers to hunt to put meat on the table, even though there's a shop. She takes me with her to keep my skills up, and the wolves won't attack her if I'm there. I have the same thing happen, the bears. Never did find out why that is. Yeah, I heard that. Way cool, huh? Yeah, way cool. Straight ahead. There used to be a little camp further up with a treehouse. Yeah, it's probably gone now. We used to play there when we were kids. That's totally so cool. Can we check it out? You are so the coolest. Mm. So don't you feel scared, even just a little bit? You know, about all this? I try not to think about it. My mom always told me to remain calm, even in the midst of chaos. She used to say, don't let anyone know how you're thinking. Keep your composure. I wish I was as brave as you. I get scared all the time. <laughs> no way. You've got the dragon born. <laughs> yeah. My guardian angel. Totally the coolest thing ever. I'm so gonna get my dad to make me one of these. Sure. She's doing okay, isn't she? It all seems like a game to her. Yeah. Rigmore! Come on up! 
Okay, be right there. You too, Dragonborn. I'm coming. I bet you used to come in here all the time, Rigmore. <laughs> you bet. We used to hide up here, and if anyone came by, we would throw stones at them and hide. <laughs> no. <laughs> it was so funny. They would be looking around, and we would just keep quiet. We used to laugh to ourselves, unless it was my dad. He knew where we were. And he would pretend that he was going to chop the tree down, you know. Oh, look at this tree someone has left in the middle of the road. Hmm. I'll just have to chop it down to get those naughty squirrels. <laughs> and we would shout and scream. <laughs> oh, those were the days. I wonder sometimes about my real parents. What really happened to them. Oh, Cirilla. You and Dragonborn were there. You must know. Dragonborn. You said they were gone. Gone where? Did they just leave me there? Didn't they want me anymore? But I know they were in prison with me. They would call to me and say everything was going to be alright. I figured something bad happened. Thanks, you Dragonborn. Hey, why don't we play a game? What? Like, I spy? Yeah, you go first. Okay. I spy with my little eye something beginning with D. Oh, um, Daisy? Come on, Rigmore. That is so lame. <coughs> okay, let me guess. Um, Dragonborn? No. Oh, how did you guess that? That was a hard one. <laughs> Come on, Dragonborn. You're it. was that? Ow! Sarge! Sarge! I think I'll sprain my ankle now. Rigmore? Shh! Dragonborn. First your elbow, and now your ankle. What the fuck next? Hey, it's okay. Be very still, and be very quiet. Like that game I told you about, okay? Elbows and arseholes? Fuck you, Draxus. Everything is going to be all right. Hey, keep the noise down. And keep your eyes peeled for terrorists. What do you mean, terrorists? The Brumies? <laughs> Fucking Brumies, you're such a twat, Magianus. Shut it. Hey, look. Here's a camp. Fine, Yeah, well, they're gonna come down off that mountain someday. We'll be waiting. Can we take them on? Dragonborn, do you think this is wise? What about Sorella? Okay. After you, Dragonborn. I'll cover you. I won't let you down. Well, well, well. What do we have here? So, friend, what business do you have skulking around the forest? Mushrooms, huh? Like for a picnic? <laughs> I told you something wasn't right. Nice bow, kid. 
You steal that someplace? Trouble is, there's not mushroom round here for all of us. <laughs> oh. Hey, wait a minute. I'm sure I've seen that girl somewhere before. That's the Countess, Rigmore of Bruma. Never should have come here. <laughs> 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 Phew, that was close. Try to breathe deeply, okay? Don't worry, it'll pass. I'm sorry. It's okay, Sarah. It happens to all of us. You did really well. never had to kill a, you know, before. I don't want to let you and Rigmore down, Dragonborn. Yeah, I'm ready. We keep moving forward, keeping the orange road to our right. Up ahead should be some old, alien ruins with a derelict old imperial fort to the left. It's quite a way, but we can rest there until we have to cross the black road. Of course I will. Lead on. More? How many men have you killed? Do you keep count? Now that's a good question. Why do you ask? I don't know. I just wonder because of what happened back there. Too many to count, Sorella. But they got what was coming to them. Yeah, <laughs> he told me that once. I've never seen him, though. Yuck. If he gets caught with them, it's a death sentence for him. When I was with... with Bobby, he would sit cross-legged on the floor and clean his fingernails with his dagger, staring at me. Gave me the creeps. Rom just eats and drinks. <laughs> yeah. Eats like a horse, drinks like a fish. He could never best me, though. <laughs> <laughs> you feeling better now? Yeah, I'm all good. Well, I'm gonna get to you. Remember what your mom taught you, okay?
You're messing with the wrong girl. Sure thing. Come on, Sabella. Take a seat. Yeah. We keep going until we reach the Black Road. It's actually not far, just ahead. But by going that way, we would be exposed and in view of Fort Ash. If we double back a bit, we can take the dirt track to Odile Farm. Crossing the fields there will bring us out behind the fort and on top of the road. Once across, we can head west, keeping the road and coral to our right. Once we reach the old Oblivion Gate, Cassius's base camp shouldn't be too far. Dragonborn, can I ask you a question? Do you love Rigmore? <laughs> yes, I knew it. You two make a great couple. Um, it must be hard for you guys, you know, keeping it a secret. Can I come to your wedding? <laughs> yes! Oh my days. <laughs> Sorella, you remind me of myself in so many ways. You know, when I saw you in that filthy cell, my blood ran cold. I was so angry. I knew we had to get you out of there. What kind of world is this that such evil can exist in people's hearts? When I grow up, I'm gonna be a vampire hunter. Still gets to you, huh? I still have nightmares sometimes, if that's what you mean. Sometimes you just have to let things go. I owe you guys my life. And Angie, my mom, she gave me a real home. I never knew that. I have you guys to thank for it. My dad, he thinks of you as a long lost daughter. So, that kind of makes you my big sister, right? Yeah, I know. Cool, huh? Way cool. Sure. Come on, Sorella. Follow me and keep close. Okay, Rigmore.
When we need him, don't you go telling him that. <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> I'm crying now. <laughs> you know, your dad and Cassius are very brave soldiers who helped defeat the might of the Aldmeri Dominion here in Cyrodiil. In fact, not very far from here. No way! He never talks about that. He always changes the subject when I ask him about it. Yeah, way! and went on to help defend the people of Hammerfell and the people of Skyrim from a fate far worse than death. That is totally so cool. Did you know Cassius was a pirate? Whoa. I've been on his ship. No way. Dragonborn. Yeah, Over way. Here. And do you know what? He is one of the most kindest people I have ever met. Apart from your dad, that is. Dragonborn. Rigmore. Glad you could make it. Did you run into any trouble on the way? I take it you concealed the bodies? Good. Make yourselves at home. We'll rest here for a while. We need to be properly prepared to cross the mountain ridge. Quintus as well. I didn't even need to persuade him. My marines have been incorporated into his legion and they await our arrival. Sethry has infiltrated the area and should have some information ready for when we return to the legion encampment on the border. Not since she was a little girl. You're a very brave girl coming all the way here, Sorella. But I bet you don't remember me. It was quite some time ago. Hi, Cassius. Rigmore says you knew my dad. Indeed. Do you want to hear how I met him? Here we go. <laughs> he told me about that. He said he saved you from a nomadic tribe that had eaten all your goats. Did he now? Actually, it's a little bit different than that. Not much, but do you want me to tell you the whole story? Oh, would you? Please? <laughs> it's a long story. Let me see. It was a cold, dark night. We had been attached to the 4th Legion patrolling the road between the Imperial City and Brothel. Then, all of a sudden, a citizen comes running up to us out of nowhere. Quick, says he. Come quickly, they're all dead. Who is dead, my good sir, says I. But he runs off in the direction he came, and we followed as quickly as we could, trying to peer into the darkness. Our torches ablaze, our hands sweating, gripping tightly to the hilts of our swords, not knowing what danger could appear in the darkening gloom. When we arrived at what appeared to be a chicken farm, there was carnage everywhere, chickens strewn left and right. We thought, what could have done this, this terrible crime? It was terrifying. We have caught the culprit, says he, come this way. We drew our swords expecting the worst, frightened for our lives, and slowly we moved forward, not knowing what was to befall us. Beads of sweat ran into our eyes from furrowed brows. <laughs> and there it was, indeed, the culprit, caught red-handed with some of the chickens still in his pockets. Your father, in the stocks. From then on, he was always known as the Fox. Whoa! What happened then? I... I don't know if I should tell you. But, I think you need to know. It was awful. They, they beat him with sticks. 
and then let them go. <laughs> <laughs> You're kidding, right? No, no, it's the truth. Make sure you ask him about it when you get home. Come on, Sorella. Let's get some sleep. We need to be well rested. Did you eat? Yes, thanks, you read for. Will you stay with me in my tent? Sure. Okay, you guys, we're going to grab some sleep. Wake us up when you're ready to move out. Sleep well, Sorella. Rigmore. So, what did Ingle say about all this? I bet he wasn't happy. How's the siege? Now that was a gift from the gods. So now I take it they're sitting in the valley twiddling their thumbs? Welcome to civilization, Dragonborn, where brother sets upon brother, father against son, children used as pawns to buy power and influence. That could have gone against us. I dread to think about how things might be if we lost that battle. That was a bloody day. I need to be leading my men, Dragonborn, from the front. I see. Then, it shall be so. I'll also have my marines place a ring of steel around us both. And then get her the hell out of there. Don't worry. I understand. Where she belongs. Where all little girls belong. Not here. The gods are but foul beasts and should take their place amongst monsters and demons. You too had better get some rest. We leave at dawn. Dragonborn, let's make haste. Wake the others and we shall be on our way. Hmm. Okay. Lorella, wake up, babes. It's time to go. Sorella, you're with me. Rigmore, follow the Dragonborn. We should keep a steady pace and not falter. No talking. You need to conserve your energy for the climb ahead. I place provisions in certain safe spots along the route on the way over, so we can at least pause and gather our strength if anyone feels weak or the need to rest. I'll lead the way, Dragonborn. Keep about ten paces behind. Okay. Let's move out.
There it is, the Brenner River. Last time I was there, the view wasn't so good. We'll rest up a while and descend a little further down. We are near to the source of the river. It cascades down into the valley. Take the weight off your legs. We can afford a quick respite. Sorella, eat something, please. Build your strength up for the descent. Okay, Cassia. Good. Isn't it amazing here, Dragonborn? You could almost imagine it was all a dream. And that we're, I don't know, tourists? Oh, har har. Aren't you a bundle of fun? For your information, I'm really enjoying this. This expedition? Yes, and I'm going to make the most of it. So sulk away, you sulker. Anyway, you never told me what you wanted to talk about back at the castle. Was it important? You said it was. Nothing. Well, nothing seems to be pushing me away from you lately. It's not the first time you've pushed me away recently. So what gives? Come on. If it's anything to do with me, I have a right to know. And... Would what? Oh, Dragonborn. So this is why you've been pushing me away. Because having your child might... Yes, I mean, I would love to have your children. But if that were to be an issue, then we won't have any. 
I want you. <laughs> the gods can go screw themselves. They can go find some other stooge. As long as I have you, I am whole and complete. I want you, Dragonborn. You're my best friend, my soulmate, my guardian protector, and my love. And I love you too, always. And I too, but don't you think it would freeze our butts off up here? <laughs> How do you mean? Hey, we always find a way. Okay, let's head out. Dragonborn, Rigmore. Cassius, what happened here? Rape. We still have a ways to go. Let's move on.
Sorella, take the weight off your legs. Eat and drink something, please. Okay. Hey, we can cross that bridge when we come to it. Unless you're talking about taking me in your arms. <laughs> Hey, I think I know a way. Trust me. <laughs> hey, it's just amazing here. Look at those falls. Cassius, can we stay a little while longer? Of course. We don't have far to go now. We can take our time. I might take the opportunity of bathing in the pool. I'm not sure that's such a good idea, Rigmore there are raiders in these hills. That's okay. I'll take the dragonborn with me. He can watch over my things. Well, if you must, be careful. The water's icy cold. Come on, dragonborn. I need to freshen up. Oh, the gods. Come on. <laughs> Dragonborn, check this out. This shrine has been attended to recently. Why not? Are you okay? Uh-uh. You're not going to get away from me this time. We might never have this chance again. Are you okay or not? That's what I thought. Okay, let's go. When you carry the load of others as well as your own, the nine shall help carry your burden. I am whomsoever you want me to be. Don't just stand there. Come on in. But she does, and calls out. She is in no danger. She never was. The Nine have listened and granted you your wish. No harm shall come to her, as mother and child are now blessed. Dragonborn, what are you doing? No, talking to yourself is the first sign of madness. There are always risks when bearing a child. This is natural. She has been blessed by Mora to help assure you both when the time comes. All she has to do is touch the shrine and it will be so. My child, touching the shrine can only bless what is already there to bless. The prophecy must be fulfilled. It is the will of the gods. You don't get in here right now! A dragon child shall be born to reign over Tamriel, restored in my name. She will be the first of many of her kind, breaking the chains of despair. 
She will lift the curse and restore the light that shall burn brightly and purge the darkness from the land. Tamriel shall no longer be at the mercy of pestilence, war, and decadence for eternity. Men and Myr shall be at peace and as one with the blessing of the Nine. It's official! A dark, raving lunatic. You have always had a choice. I'm afraid it may now be a little too late for that. Dragonborn, help! <laughs> That got your attention, right? Now get over here, rambling weirdo. Okay, okay. So you made your point. I'm done here. I don't know what's with you, but ever since Bruma, you've gone stone cold on me. It's not just what Priyathar said to you. It's something else, isn't it? Is it because I wanted to see Bobby? Dragonborn, don't lie to me. What the hell is going on here? Who were you talking to? Dragonborn, don't you want me anymore? You're kidding, right? We already decided we wanted a family. If this is the only way to make sure I'm safe, Dragonborn, I love you. Hey, I don't think I've broken it. Dragonborn, I'm okay, okay? You know, I worry about you sometimes. <sighs> Come on, let's go. Dragonborn, let's move on. Come, Sorella. This way. Quintus's encampment is just ahead.
Make it quick. Then... Hey, Rigmore. I'm just so happy to see you safe and well. You too, Dragonborn. And... Hey? You must be Serena. Hmm? Need something? I look after you. Okay? Yes. Hmm? Quintus will be expecting you. I'll need to rally my men and gather them around me. Once the battle commences, I'll follow you at a distance, and when I deem the area to be safe, I'll allow Sorella to take the shot. Once the task has been done, I'll be leaving immediately and taking her home. Good luck, Dragonborn. Okay. Roger that. Just take me to where the glass house is, and I'll take that shot, Dragonborn. I won't miss. Come, Sorella. Let's prepare you for the task at hand. You want to hear some stories of pirates on the high seas? You are so the coolest. <laughs> Come on then and follow me. <laughs> Catch you later, Rigmore. Come and see us anytime over by the fire. I don't want to let you and Rigmore down, Dragonborn. Hey, we know that. And when Cassius tells you it's time to go, don't look back, okay? The Dragonborn and I can look after ourselves. So don't worry, okay? Bye. And guess what? You'll be getting a ride home on a pirate ship. How cool is that? When this is over, we'll come get you and do some fun things together. In happier times. Yes? Need something? Guardian General, Countess, at last the gods have answered my prayers. As well as can be expected, it's been a long time. Indeed, Sethri has told me all there is to know about our task at hand. What evil has been plaguing our lands and the reason behind it? I couldn't figure it out at first. Why would the Emperor, so-called, send me all the way to this region when the raiders we were meant to prevent were protected with immunity? Yes, they come into Cyrodiil and we prevent further excursions, but we are not allowed to follow them back to their base. At the very foot of that mountain, Morag Sethius informed me that crossing the border and marching into Hammerfell was irregular and could be seen as an act of war. But the real reason is all too sinister and depraved. 
I thought they were slavers at first. Their spoils mostly comprised of people. People that go into that mountain and never come out. But now it's clear. What a fool I have been. Cassius told me you were coming. My sword is yours to command. What's up there, Quintus? An army of leeches. At the foot of the mountain, there's a considerable force of raiders. They do the dirty work, round up the people, and have them sent to the pits. Further up, there's a small battalion of mercenaries defending the ruins. The pits? There's some ancient Aelid ruins on the top of that mountain, but they lead deep into the earth, to the antechamber, where they keep the bridge of size. The pits are winding catacombs, where, as I said, the army of leeches are located, vampiric defilers. We now know they are the Akaviri, human remnants. The people are harvested there. Not only that, the soul gem is protected by Taisi sergeants led by General Oxia Marker. Oddly enough, he's the only one we can name. The others, they're just numbers. The very same. I lost count. Cassius bought a map from their war galley you destroyed in the Sea of Ghosts. Invasion routes is our guess. We think they've been secretly biding their time waiting for the moment to come, the age of the serpent. Of course, when Cassius arrived several days ago we discussed the offensive. First we had the problem of the river. I travelled to Anvil and persuaded the Count to allow me to build a pontoon. You saw it as you arrived. I told him it was prudent to have a forward warning post connected to the main camp. Of course, none of the nobles here in the Gold Coast know anything about the truth. But I told him it was imperative, and it would stop the slavers. Quintus has been sending patrols frequently. We don't think it's caused the enemy to become too suspicious. Twenty men go out, ten come back. Half of my men are already on the Hammerfell side of the river. Good men, Guardian. They are loyal, and Cassius's arrival has bolstered morale. Many are from his old legion. And now you and the Countess are here. They are ready and at your command. Here, on the map, the raiders have a base camp at the foot of the mountain. We need to force our way through to access the rampart that leads to the top. Agreed. At the top, the alien ruins are occupied by mercenaries. A company-sized unit mainly consisting of elven renegades and a few orcs. They've been there since I arrived, probably the remnants of the New Order. They are also supplied by the raiders. Once we hit the raiders' camp, we're hoping the mercs will just think it's one of Quintus patrols stay too deep and ignore us. I've stepped up patrols and forced some skirmishes lately, so it won't seem too out of the ordinary. But once we hit them hard at the foot of the mountain, I suggest you take some veterans and make your way as quickly as possible to the summit and neutralize the mercenaries as quick as possible. Once inside, they'll know we're here. Speed is of the essence. Is Morag Sethius in there? She's been here for a few days. There will be no quarter given, Guardian. No pity. I'll be taking no prisoners. Every man available will be needed. As it happens, I came across a few crates of some such items, carelessly left by the Anvil docks, and have made sure of their distribution amongst the troops. Of course, I saved you and the Countess, so just in case. Don't worry, Dragonborn. As a mage, my place is also to protect Sorella.
General Quintus, there's an envoy here to see you. Expecting visitors, Quintus? Not that I know of. Who is it, soldier? They're asking for the Guardian General and the Countess Rigmore. Dragonborn. And the Prince of Tamriel. We have a dossier on you, my lady, worthy of its own library shelf. What is it you want here, Just the Car? Please allow me to introduce myself. I am Count Valeronin Cameus of Lelandro, envoy of the Almir Dominion, and commander in chief of Tesso. <clears throat> the Elven Special Operations. There are elven criminals that need to have swift justice exacted upon them. Renegades and former New Order traitors dug in on the top of Table Mountain, and I have been sent to offer my services as a gesture of goodwill between the Empire and the Dominion. Yeah, right. <clears throat> I don't ask that you like us, Countess. I only ask for your trust. Trust? Your organization is no better than that of the New Order. Wherever the Thalmor tread, they leave a trail of misery, torture, and death. The only good thing Cepheus did was kick you out of Cyrodiil. I do understand your hostility. And I don't blame you. Not for one moment. We, the Dominion, Owe you a debt of gratitude for helping bring about the demise of the New Order. And I want to take this chance to personally apologize on our behalf for the suffering you endured at the hands of that traitor, the Thalmor General. Don't you even dare mention his name! No. Of course. How insensitive of me. But General Quintus, my special forces are at your disposal if you so wish it. I hope we can unite to bring about an end to the monster that resides within that mountain. And might I, at the very least, be offered the courtesy of parley, as to understand the situation. Please do not be alarmed, or suspicious. This letter of introduction should suffice to prove my intentions are genuine. It is signed by many dignitaries, including the Council of Elders in Exile, the High Justicia from the Isles, and diplomatic emissaries from Valenwood and elsewhere to name but a few. That's a lot of names. You must be very special to be endorsed by virtually the whole of Tamriel, Count Gameus. And what's in it for you? We only want to win the war. As I said, my lady, we owe you a debt of gratitude. Nothing more. Quintus, you can't trust this ass clown. He's a Justicar, a Thalmor. <clears throat> it's pronounced Justicia. Rigmore. Even Barendar is a signatory. Let us all go inside and discuss the planning there. Whatever. I think I'll just go take a walk. The air around here has become unpleasant, to say the least. Guardian General, see if you can talk some sense into her. I'll bring the Count up to date. What is it? If you've come to talk me around, don't waste your breath. I don't trust them, damn elves. 
No, I didn't mean it like that. Yeah, I remember. The enemy of my enemy is still my enemy. Let it go! They murdered my father in the worst way possible. He was denied a warrior's death and they paraded him around the street of Alinor while the people spat upon him, Dragonborn. They kicked and beat him and they publicly hanged him for all the world to see. And... And he was all alone and there was no one there for him. They tore my family apart enslaved my mom and flogged me to within an inch of my life. No, I will not let it go. So don't you dare try to patronize me. They will always be my enemy and I can never ever forgive them. I want nothing to do with him or his special forces. So that makes it all right. Ah, uh, okay. Maybe you're right. Come on, then. I'll give him the benefit of a doubt. There's the map. As you can see, the mountain has at its foot a base camp. Red Guard Nomad Raiders. The heights and the top are guarded by mercenaries. A few orcs and your elven renegades. I see. And the plan? We attack the base camp simultaneously in a pincer movement. The Guardian and Countess ascend the slopes and take control of the heights. That's where you come in. I suggest my forces are to accompany the Countess. Not only to take out the Renegades, but to offer some protection. <clears throat> I have updated the Count. He is to accompany your assault on the heights. Are you with child? What? How dare you? You would better keep your distance, Calcameus, or I won't be responsible for what happens to you. As soon as you've dealt with your elven renegades, I want you out of here. Do we understand each other? My apologies. I assumed... Can we talk privately? Thank you, General Quintus, for your hospitality. We'll be waiting for the attack to begin, then join you. You and I both know what's going on here, Guardian. I assume you spoke to the priest. He appears like a ghostly apparition, out of nowhere, but can only walk amongst us for a short time. At first it bothered me greatly. He told me of my own destiny, how it was entwined with yours, that we will both go on to become harbingers of a new era for men and mare, and beast. I believe so. Or is a guiding voice for them. He is the reason I am here at all. He said that you are unpredictable and it worries the gods. And if you were to deny them, other ways would need to be sought to fulfill the prophecy. Did she touch the shrine? I see. That's all I needed to know. We are just pawns in the game not of our choosing, Dragon Slayer. We are all servants of the great Lord Akatosh. I was chosen by the priest to gather a force, a special force, and I've been waiting years 
biding my time only for this moment. Do you think you can enter that mountain and prevail against the undead alone? What awaits you in there is beyond the realms of mortals and the only safe way through to bring that little girl, the orphan bandit child, to do what must be done can only be accomplished at the point of my silver swords. I am afraid that the Countess, no, Princess, will have to endure my company for a little while longer. It must be so debilitating for her after everything she has been through all these years. I am on your side, Dragon Slayer. On Rigmore's side. I personally took responsibility for the apprehension of the new order in Alnor, and I have been playing my role in the game, as you yours. Blind fool, look at you! What are you? Obviously you cannot even recall any schooling. Do you even remember where you were born? Where exactly do you hail from? Do you recall anything at all about your past? Is there one single thing you can tell me about yourself? Were you hatched from an egg or forged in a dank pool from offal? What of her? Rigmore, child of Ragnar named Sigensdotter. Her whole life is a book. A tragedy to be read by all and sundry. A child chosen for a fate worse than death and she keeps enduring. She keeps giving. Her strength and resolve unsurpassed. She is born to reign, and born to bear a child, and you no longer will be the last dragonborn. For there shall be another. Akatosh wills it, and it will be done. So we, we're not done. Not yet, Dragon Slayer. Not by a long chalk. It's too late, whether you like it or not, Rigmore's life was never hers to live. She is of the Mead dynastic bloodline, and will take her rightful place. The people will demand it. You can, of course, wander the wilderness for the rest of your days, or drink yourself to death. Have you spoken to the princess, Rigmore, about her fate? Because you should. But what if, when you arrive there, there is no bridge to cross? You owe her the truth at the very least. Stop treating her like a fragile porcelain doll. You may come to find that actually, she does have what it takes after all. The child will be a septum, and she will be called Kintyra. Who you are should be as plain as the nose on your face. Until next time. What is it? Okay, I guess. Dragonborn, nothing is going to happen to you. What's made you think this way? Feel what? What's gotten into you? You're beginning to worry me now. I'm listening. No, I... Well, I did notice a little bleeding, you know, down there. No, no, it's not. It did worry me a little bit, but I just put it down to, <clears throat> you know, women things. Irregularity. No. Dragonborn, you're scaring me now. What's going on? Dragonborn, 
What's going on? I would call him Ragnar, after my father. Kintyra? Dragonborn, what's going on? Yes. I remember, of course. Go on. This is frightening me now, Dragonborn. You had better not be making some kind of joke because it's not funny. What about me? <laughs> you prayed at the chapel. <laughs> okay, sorry. I just can't imagine you doing that. That's all. <laughs> That's sweet of you. The danger of bearing a child. Your child? We talked about that. But God. Dragonborn, you can't be sure about that. I know the shrine went all weird, but shrines do that kind of thing with their glowing, shiny stuff thing. I could be pregnant, but it's too early to tell, and if I am, then we must trust them for my sake. It all fits now that I think about it. I've become so used to being used by the gods, so... Don't feel guilty. If I do have a child and I don't make it, promise me. Promise me you'll love her, care for her, and remember me. I would gladly die in your arms, and if... If Kintyra were to become Empress of all Tamriel, then at least my life amounted to something. I know you would. Promise me, you'll take good care of her. Go, prepare for the battle. Come and get me when the time is right. Everything is ready. Sethri has joined Cassius and his unit to help protect the child. They have already gone ahead to await the attack and will follow in your wake. Calcameus and his men are in position. All we need to do now is join them. Understood. As ready as I'll ever be. Okay. Dragonborn. What's going to happen? I mean, if... when... Ugh. You know, if we do manage to defeat Morvac... ...and march into Cyrodiil and defeat Leowick... ...all of the nobles who turn against us and manage to get to the Citadel... ...fight our way across the bridge and fight our way through to the palace and the Praetorian Guard to the throne... ...what then? Oh, that's easy then. You can do it. No? What do you mean, no? No! I can't! I can't do it! I won't do it! No! You do it, Dragonborn! You cut his head off! Why me? Why is it always me? Is that right? So are you sticking around this time? And what if there is a baby? How do I know you're going to be there for us? This nightmare just never ends and I can't see a way out. It goes on forever, Dragonborn. I'm falling into a black hole that goes on forever and I can't make it stop! 
But I'm scared. Dragonborn. And they shall come to know my name and tremble, be it gods, demons, or kings. The Dragonborn comes. Let's go do this.